Freedom Skate Park in Bull Bay, St. Andrew, is providing a space for youth to have access, I suspect for more than just the young people, uh, to free Wi-Fi to access online classes while honing their skating skills. Here to tell us more is one of the park's founders, Remy Walter, who is from Paris originally. He's married to a Jamaican maroon. <laughs> His father is not French. <laughs> Uh, and him tell me, say, I'm gypsy in my family. Morning, my friend. Good to see you. How are you? Yeah, out of many, you know. <laughs> out of many. Remy. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, tell me about, before the park, your Jamaican connection. Because you, you came here many, many years ago. But now you live here, don't you? Yeah, man. So tell me why you came to Jamaica in the first place. And why are you here now? Um, I came for music. And I was with Chris Blackwell in the Bahamas. Because he, he discovered me and then he, he, he thought I was a bit of a Jamaican <laughs> type. <laughs> and he told me, you should come because you're going to love it. And it was 1980. I came, I flew with Jacob Miller in a private plane. And then, you know, I just felt in love with the country and the culture that I knew already because I loved reggae music. Yeah. You know, so I met Bob Marley. I met Burning Spear and all them. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's strong roots in my youth. Yeah. You're also a skateboarder. Yeah, since 1976. Why did you want to build a park in Jamaica? Because I thought you, you wanted to build it in Harbour View first and then it was out at uh, Bull Bay, right? Well, it's not um, me. I always want to develop skateboarding in France, everywhere. We all do that. So the idea was like there was already a scene, you know, around Bull Bay and Kingston and surfers and, and Shalma Aiva at yep. this, their yep. club, uh, yep. SK876. Yep. And um, uh, Flipping Youth is an organization from UK for, uh, was been made by uh, and managed by Will Wilson. And, you know, um, and also Kevin Burke helped a lot, you know, like bringing the funds like Seprod, Sendal, get into the dance too. So we had to find, first we had to find the finance, we had to find the place, it took years. But uh, it's come naturally, like, uh, it's, a, it's the dream of every skateboarder, you know, to have a skate park yeah, right. in your city. Yeah, right. And, it, and it's, it's, it's pretty costly, too. This cost you more than a couple million dollars, didn't it? No, it's... Uh, in Jamaican money, I'm talking about. Oh, it more than a couple million dollars. Right? U.S., like 200,000, 200, something. 200,000 like U.S., it, yeah. Know, with a youth center, yeah. you know, uh, managed by Flipping Youth. Yeah. And, uh, but it's, you know, it, it was a normal thing for... Every Jamaican skateboarder dreamt, you know, like yeah. there was the Gymnasia connection with uh, Aika, who's yeah. a big surfer, yeah, member of the national team, yeah, and man. now he's teaching the youth, you know, doing yeah. homework with them. Who uses the, the park? We're talking about skateboarding you now. Who uses the park? Young people, big people, uh, who? Everybody, you know, from uptown to... How popular it, is it? It's, it's full. It's, it's a lot of people coming. Every day? Every day from 1 to 7, and we have home class like three times a week. We have private lesson if you want to learn with you know skilled teachers. Yeah. Um, so and it's CGF is a NGO, um, you know, with many like European guy from yeah. Belgium. From it costs Austria. you two hundred thousand US. You don't charge to use the park. So how do you? I know I'm not suggesting that you want to earn back that money, but I mean you, you need money uh, to survive, don't you? So yeah. how do you earn from the now, park? it's not the goal to make money out of it, but we create employment so we need to maintain the right. place we need to pay some people so we have the rental which is a hundred for a skateboard which is very okay. cheap okay. and a hundred for protection and then we protection have the private would class the, would be the pads and the knee pads and the elbow exactly pads and you know because when you when you learn you yeah. know you it's better to yeah. you don't fall a lot but if you fall it's better to protect your knees <laughs> and, elbows and elbows and your head, and your head especially right. with the kids so yeah. when we do classes they're all wear gears of course, because we have a teaching school, yeah. skateboarding school. So um, everybody can come, you know, we have like 30, 40 years old and we have kids starting five, six. You know, so it's a family thing. It's a multi-generation, multi-racial, multi-country. And uh, the skateboarding is about mingle, you know, to yeah, mingle man. with people and you're meet other people yeah, from other countries. Yeah, you're open one to seven o'clock in the yeah. day, yeah. every day? Yeah, man. Monday to Monday? Yeah, man. Or Sunday to Sunday, whichever yeah. one you want to And we, we have a website, freedomskatepark.org. Yeah. You can have all the information. But you have lights out there and everything. Yeah, we've been welcomed by uh, the Bull Bay Football Club, by yeah. Paul. Which is where it is, right beside it. Yeah, right and it's a very safe place, yeah, man. you know, and it's beautiful. And I know where that is, just as if you know Bull Bay as you pass Co Copa. Copa, exactly. Copa is on your right, and as yeah. you go around the corner, that's where the field is and uh, Cable Hut, the... the 
the beach is is like almost just past. Yeah, past man. It. When you turn, yeah, it's man. on the left. Yeah, now man. they 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 shorten a bit the skate park. Uh, we have a bit less place for the parking lot, but there's a big parking lot behind, behind the football yeah, yeah. club, so you can come and park, no worries. Yeah. And you can come, you know, it's just we have security yeah. <clears throat> and just, you know, we just try to... It's not the first skate park that you've been involved in because I think you had one in Boston first. Boston Bay. Like uh, so is this what you do? You go around the world and just kind of try to... Well, that's what does uh, Concrete Jungle Foundation, Wonders Around the World and Make Life Skate Life who are ONG from uh, skateboarders and we have volunteer coming. And that's how we can we are able to make a skate park like CGF just made one in Morocco yep. um, because it, it, the price is much lower when the volunteers are coming. Some of yep. them pay their own ticket place. Yeah. As a skateboarder yourself, have you seen any skateboarders in Jamaica that might end up being like good as good as some in the world? Have you seen that yet? I'm sure. I'm sure that you know they will be because we are an Olympic sport now since last yeah. year in Japan. So is there coaching in skateboarding out at Bull uh, So course. someone actually coaches you what to do or you just get yeah. on the board and say... No, no, we have coaching. Uh, we have a young team, uh, Nomad, Energetic Nomad. We have some kids from Bull Bay and, and around who have their own little team, you yeah. know, and, and, and we, we, we take care of them, we teach them. The guys from uh, uh, SK876, the club, the local yeah. club is taking care of the kids. We have private teachers. You know, it's it's. Finally, any any plans to build any more in Jamaica? Of or course. In Jamaica? Of course, because I think Mobe needs one, Kingston needs one, Ochi needs one, because you you know kids cannot just all go to Bull Bay yeah. or. So Boston have you started to, to to? Yeah, we have plans. You know, even I last time I was in Negril, I was talking to Mr. Moreland, the MP. So we are planting the seeds of skateboarding here and there, and uh, and 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 that's because you know Seprod, Sendal. Sketch Room, who is a big organization who gave half yeah. of the skate park fee, uh, uh, helped and, and Paris Skate Culture. Fantastic, good to see you. You're still in music? Yeah, man, still music. Music and skateboarding, it's, it's all, all right. the same, you know? All right, it's so it's culture. out at Bull Bay, if you know where the football field is, close to the football field, open one to seven. It's free, but you're going to have to rent the skateboard and rent your equipment and, and stuff like that. And, uh, check out Remy if you go out there. Good to see you. Great to meet you. God bless. Yeah, man. Remy Walter, founder of Jamaica Skate Culture, is at the Freedom Skate Park for Child Month. So come. <laughs>